windy hopefully you can hear me so today's video is about the half pass the half pass is such a hard concept for riders and horses it can feel so awkward when you're first doing it to like because your horse is bending in the same direction where they're going and it's so easy to just get all twisted up in knots and get your horse all twisted up in knots so this video is a quick little tip that I think will help you guys to figure out how to ride the half pass please don't forget to subscribe and sign up for my email list. And even if you're not quite ready for half pass, this is a great video to watch and get thinking for the future. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. As always, you guys are the best. Thanks. So let me show you now how I introduce the half pass. So the half pass is a really hard movement. So first I start with haunches in on the rail is my secret for how to introduce the half pass. So I make sure that I really have a nice haunches in. My horse is bending around the inside leg. I go up the center line. I turn on a diagonal back to P and I ride haunches in towards P. This is my secret sauce for introducing the half pass because I think so many times people think half pass and they just kind of freak out about like oh my god I have to half pass it's not really that complicated if you can ride a haunches in you can ride a half pass so start out riding haunches in down the long side make sure he's looking to the inside his hips are to the inside. And then I go up the center line, keep bending him and turning him. And then I ride haunches in towards the letter V, bending him and turning him and bending him and straight. So that's my secret for a good half pass is just think of haunches in on diagonal. Okay, so I wanted to explain a little bit why this concept works. So when I ride a half pass, like I'm riding Harvey here, the first thing that I always look for is my destination letter. So I look up, I see a letter, I put that letter and his front end on that line. So it's really important to always first see the diagonal line that you want to half pass on. The reason that this is important is because you need to start the half pass with the front end and the shoulders. So like coming through the corner there, you saw how I brought his shoulders over first, and then I added bend and haunches in onto that line. So that's why this exercise is really, really helpful is that it gets the shoulders where you want them to go. And then it also helps for the horse and the rider to kind of simplify things by understanding that the half pass is really just simply haunches in on a diagonal line. So here I'm riding Harvey in the pre-St. George test, and it's the same thing. You know, I'm, I'm seeing my line where my destination letter is. I'm putting that letter between his ears, and then I'm thinking of riding haunches in towards that destination. And this is so helpful because it ensures that you're going to get to the end where you need to be in the half pass. It's also really important if you're having trouble with the half pass to go back and ride haunches in on the rail because haunches in on the rail is the same thing as a half pass, just it's a little easier because you have the rail to help you. So I hope this helps and good luck with your half passes.